Hi, I'm Jim Linsman. The five stroke roll is made up of two double strokes followed by an accented single stroke. And it alternates, which means the first time you do it, you start with your right hand. Second time you do it, you start with your left hand. Here's the five stroke roll. Right, right, left, left, right. Left, left, right, right, left. Right, right, left, left, right. Left, left, right, right, left. Make sure you use a larger stroke to create the accents. This is because a larger stroke automatically means a bigger sound. Play the five stroke roll and get it as fast as you can using wrist strokes. Eventually, you'll want to play the five stroke roll at faster tempos, and I suggest you do this using double bounce strokes. A double bounce stroke is just one wrist stroke, but using a loose enough grip so that the stick rebounds and hits the drum a second time. Not two wrist strokes, but one wrist stroke and two hits. Of course, you'll want to practice each hand separately. And always make sure that you're only hitting the drum twice, not three times, not four times, twice. Once you're feeling good about the double bounce strokes, go back to playing a five stroke roll in this rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eventually, as you get more comfortable, you'll be able to speed up the rhythm until you're playing the five stroke rolls really fast. If you're preparing for a NISMA competition and you're level one or two, you'll have to play the five stroke roll in this rhythm at 60 beats per minute. 1 E and 2 E and 1 E and 2 E and If you're a level 3 or 4, you'll have to play the 5 stroke roll at 80 beats per minute. And level five or six, 100 beats per minute. That's the five stroke roll. Thanks a lot for watching.